Hello all and welcome back to my channel. You join me in a fabrication technique specific video. So in this video here I am showing you lot how to cut down some fittings. So this here is a 18 inch shed 20 pipe with a set of 130 mil which is, is a really small set. So basically most of the 45 had to get chopped down in order for the set to be fulfilled and there's many ways of doing it I I I don't want to make a mistake so I'd rather practically put it together mark it up myself and do it that way rather than I've seen some boys like um, on the 130 mil set they'll measure the inside of the 45 and mark what half of a 130 is and they will measure the outside of the 45 and mark 130 mil and they will take it to the saw for example on like on smaller pipe and chop through the top mark down to the bottom mark and that's that's fine it, it works on small stuff and and if you've got a big gap or a little gap you can deal with it on the small stuff but on this big thing where you need to maintain a consistent gap across a 450 mil cut for example you you need it to stay weldable because it's so easy that you can have gaps where fingers can fit in between and that's a nightmare situation you don't want that so yes this way here I practically set it up with the correct set measurement and I cut it out so what you're seeing me do now is tack together the two pieces ready to cut down now I like doing it on the floor when the pieces are heavy I don't want to pick them up my tables heavy maneuvering them on the table is just a nightmare some some boys do that if you've ever seen any of my other videos you see that there's a angle piece that gets tacked onto the back of the elbow and it allows you to you know put it in a captain's wheel of sorts so you can rotate it and you can mark it up but get but that way there you need v stands you need a few of them sometimes the v stands are so clumped together that the the legs clash so yeah for me it's just making it on the floor i tack pieces onto the elbow to, to hold everything level um, what I'm doing now just slid the 45 to the elbow and because I'm chopping the fitting I'm just gonna make the gap a nice gap all the way around because I'm not gonna make it out of out of level I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make the 45 not a 45 because of a gap that I'm trying to maintain because it's getting chopped off so I don't have to worry about that so yes an equal gap between the two fittings and then I can move on to the next step which will be, I think you're going to see it shortly, which will be putting a piece of pipe underneath the elbow which is the correct set. I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing this. I got, I got, I made a few mistakes doing this, I won't lie. Silly mistakes, like if you look underneath the 45 right now there's a piece of pipe, I, I didn't remove it. So when I put the piece of pipe under the elbow to get the correct set the 45 weren't sitting level on the floor so I I had to you know reposition it snap off that piece of pipe reposition the whole thing and it was long and then when I um, went to check the set again somehow I've managed to chop the wrong size pipe to 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 be for the elbow to sit on to get the set I chopped 150 mil instead of 130 mil I have no idea where I got the 130 150 mil from but that's sometimes what happens when you're working so fast like this you're just on autopilot I've taken a look at the drawing I've made sure that I've got the elbow and 45 in the right orientation but I know what I'm doing so I'm just I'm just going through it I'm, I know exactly what steps to do the next things to do and all that sort of stuff so I may have glanced saw a measurement at a certain point and just been on autopilot and carried on so here you say here is when I've just realized I've smacked it out now that piece of pipe that the elbow sitting on is no longer showing the right set so yeah I um, chop it off and then there's another mistake to come which is just annoying So here's the drawing that I'm working on right now. What you've watched me do is set up for this cut here. So I need to cut the measurement down 
130 mil set. 130! Oh man, I cut 150 mil piece. What am I doing today? Yes, so you just you just watched me make a mistake. I don't know, I made that piece of pipe 150 rather than 130, which is the set. I don't know why I did that. So yes, basically what I'm trying to do here is cut down this 45 to get the correct set measurement. And um, there's so many different ways of doing it. I like to practically do it this way here so I can visually see and make sure it's all good. It's basically, I cut the piece of pipe to whatever set height it needs to be. So from here to the floor was 130 and then from here to the top of the pipe where it's going to get cut again 130. What I'm going to do now, I, I have a torch on the other side and as soon as you can see where the elbow touches the floor that is going to be the, the part that I cut. So providing the cut is straight you could imagine a piece of pipe coming off straight on the floor in level with the floor um, and then button up nicely to the cut will give the pipe the correct set so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna cut it retake the measurement from here to there and then put on whatever extra sliver of pipe I need to do to get the center to face measurement and um, yeah I'm probably gonna weld it on the manipulators as well but yeah this is a little a little guide so I hope you kind of understand what I'm doing now and um, why I'm doing it, I don't know. It's the drawings, you know. I'd rather just a straight 45 but, or a 22 at least. A 22 and a half, take it to the saw, chop it down. But every now and again, you have these silly sight measures, so you have to deal with it. But a life hack, get yourself a laser level. Here's my crude little setup. Surprisingly, I got it level pretty fast and bang on the reason why i use the laser level i like to be able to mark the top and more around the sides rather than using two squares and they still go across it's harder to um, get the line straight so yeah you can kind of see roughly the line goes down pretty far the line goes down to about halfway that i can mark it um, and then i can use a square to carry on that line to underneath as best as i can I I got the the level of this. You saw how I was using the square. It comes across and basically the whole length of this laser line was in line with the square, meaning that this mark from here to there is running pretty true to um, the 45. So now I'm going to mark it and just cut it down. So what I should have done at this point here was take the measurement from that edge of the elbow that my right arm is closest to. I should have measured it from the, the center of the elbow coming out until it hit the laser level. That way there I know once I take this chop that I can reverse engineer the measurement to know exactly how big of a new sliver of pipe needs to go on the end that I've chopped off to get the center to face measurement i believe that makes sense so there is another sliver of pipe that goes onto it and um, later on you see me kind of using a square and it's not the best way it would it, it gave me a measurement about 90 97 percent good but all i all i would have needed to do was um, measure it properly with the with the laser level and it would have saved me time and given me a banging cut so you saw there i flipped it and got the i've lined up everything from the existing marks the bottom of it and the top of it and carried on the rest of the mark and now, now i'm burning it out simple as that just like this i have the the fittings chop the fitting chopped down here's my buddy mr tev coming to show me i was running out of gas so as it was welding as it was burning it was welding itself um, back but here's here's what I'm talking about you see how I'm pulling out and I'm trying to keep the square square while measuring the top of the chop or the side of the chop just trying to get a good accurate cut I could have just pulled the tape measure out to the laser level line and it would have been as simple as that but here's the piece 
it weren't perfect um, the cut was a little bit big on one side but I knew later on that I can sort out gaps so I kind of so the top of it the gaps too big now but I think I, I, I tack the bottom and then I kind of pick up the elbow close the gap at the top you know it's big pipe if you want it to be bang on but there's there's within reason you know what I'm saying if it's a little bit pissed you ain't gonna see it compared to like a smaller piece of pipe this part here I'm not too proud of this I should have flipped it the opposite way round but it's just more work again I know that there's so many more stages later on that I can compensate if I've made um, measurements out or things not level so I just roughly copied whatever the floor is because that's what this elbow's sitting on and I transferred it to the piece of pipe. But that's pretty much it for the video. I didn't film any more. Maybe I might chuck in a few random clips but yeah that was that was all I filmed really. It was just a, a tutorial or a little um, showing you lot how I done it basically. If it helps you good you can you can do it for your one if not you know it's an entertaining video so yes if you've enjoyed the video leave a like comment subscribe whatever you feel you 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 should do but yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you lot in the next one